we have congressmen who also say that you came and lobbied them in favor I didn't lobby of a, them. You have it's congressmen who say that you came and lobbied them with regards to Medicare Part D. At well, the same time, whoa, whoa. your senator was taking in contributions. You, you just from, jumped a long way over here, friend. Well, another, another area of influence look, look, peddling. I have always publicly favored a stronger Medicare program. I wrote a book in 2002 called Saving Lives and Saving Money. I publicly favored Medicare Part D for a practical reason. And that reason is simple. The U.S. government was not prepared to give people anything, insulin, for example, but they would pay for kidney dialysis. They weren't prepared to give people Lipitor, but they'd pay for open heart surgery. That is a terrible way to run Medicare. I am proud of the fact, and I'll say this in Florida, I'm proud of the fact that I publicly, openly advocated Medicare Part D. It has saved lives. It's run on a free enterprise model. It also includes health savings accounts and it includes uh, Medicare uh, alternatives, which gave people choices. What they're, I did on behalf of sure Medicare, do. I did out in the open, uh, publicly, he, and that is my right as a here, citizen. There's a, a gap and a problem uh, with the two of the gentlemen who are up here with me. And, and one is on the biggest issue that they, we have to deal with in this election that's, that's crushing the economy, will crush it even further, and crush freedom. And that's Obamacare. Governor Romney's plan in Massachusetts was the basis for Obamacare. Speaker Gingrich, for 20 years, supported a federal individual mandate, something that Pam Bondi is now going to the Supreme Court saying is unconstitutional. Speaker Gingrich, for 20 years up until last year, supported an individual mandate, which is at the core of Obamacare. So-called Romney Care and so-called Obamacare have been positioned very closely side by side by your opponent, the senator, and, and again, you've been called insufficiently conservative. My health care plan, by the way, is one that under our Constitution we're allowed to have. The people in our state chose a plan which I think is working for our state. At the time we crafted it, I was asked time and again, is this something that you would have the federal government do? I said, absolutely not. I do not support a federal mandate. I do not support a federal one-size-fits-all plan. I believe in the Constitution. That's why the Attorney General here is saying, absolutely not, you can't impose Obamacare on the states. What I will do if I'm president, I will repeal Obamacare and return to the states the authority and the rights the states have to craft their own programs to care for their own poor.